Ellie, I love you, and I cannot wait to continue what we have going. You're amazing. I'm a lucky guy. You stand by me. Sally and Johnny, you two have had a journey together. You've emerged on the other side, probably stronger than ever. How are you guys feeling? Incredible. Literally on top of the world. Like, what just happened? It's just wild. And I get to meet this guy, so I'm very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looking back on that whole experience, so much happened. You know, we met so many people, so many people left, so many people stayed. And, you know, meeting her was definitely the best, you know, part of the experience. Falling in love was so unexpected and it happened. And I'm so, you know, appreciative you know, the chance that I got, you know, to have this experience with her, be by my side the whole entire time. It's Johnny, beautiful. Johnny, are you ready to be woken up every morning? Sally, you seem like a big <laughs> morning person. <laughs> I'm a huge morning person. Look, she, she can't, look, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing distance for a little bit, so she can't, you know, bang pans and possibly pans <laughs> to wake me up in the morning or give me an elbow to the ribs anymore. So <laughs> definitely gonna be missing that. It's not gonna be happening anytime soon. <laughs> What is the plan for you two? You're gonna go do long distance. You're going back where, what, what's the next steps? So I'm going to Sacramento. He's going to Virginia for a while, but both moving to LA very, very soon. So we'll be like, near each other. Soon as in like next week, Yeah. two weeks from now. <laughs> like we're about to jump into this thing. We're about to hit the ground running. Like, yeah. This is exciting for the both of us. Just be able to like be on the outside with each other. Moving to the same city, I feel like it's the best move for us just because we're going to be close, we're going to see each other. While we were in the villa, I was like, how long do you think it's going to take before we like see each other after this? And I was so worried about his answer. And he goes, oh, like a week. I was like, oh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, like, I'm trying, I'm trying <laughs> to see her Oh, that's so good. So I, I'd hate to bring up Casa more again, but I'm sure it's been <laughs> relayed to you guys at this point that that was a big, big topic for, for the viewers. And you guys kind of got some hints of the tweets from the real world. So how hard was it to not let what you were thinking America was thinking influence your relationship at all? It was difficult, especially because I was already moved past it. You know what I mean? I, was, I don't even like want to even go there. And so to have that like resurface and to see what it did to him, like that was very difficult for me. And I feel like it sucked, but it was definitely something that like made us stronger. And we have mastered the art of picking ourselves up and pushing forward. And I feel like it's prepared us for absolutely anything. I tried to separate the fact that we were on a TV show and just try to be my genuine self. I did everything, you know, knowing I was going to be honest about it. Coming back to Sally, I told her the truth. And I knew that some way, shape or form it was going to be brought up multiple times for us to rehash it. But me and her, you know, we kind of handled it within the first couple of days the way we wanted to. Yeah. Um, but having an outside, you know, third party come in and continuously bring it up and try and provoke us and stir it up and to still come out on the other side stronger. You know, it's very, it's very refreshing and reassuring uh, just for what we can handle on the outside because I know there's gonna be a lot of things thrown at us. Yeah. But the reality of it is like that situation is in our past and we know that we're gonna continue, continuously get things about it because that is the only flaw that anyone can point out in our relationship. And I don't even see it as necessarily a flaw. I think it was just something that happens in the it outside world and it made us stronger. Yeah. We can literally take on anything now. So I'm like, come for us, America. Try harder. <laughs> that part that was shown our relationship was like two or three percent of what happened in the villa. We had 97%, at least for me, of just greatness. Every single day in there, if we were not talking about Casa more, was amazing. Waking up to going to sleep with each other. All the little jokes we have, all the little games we play, it's just incredible the time that we had together. So if that is the focal point of our relationship, it's kind of sad because, you know, I know people love drama, people love, you know, heartbreak and stuff like that. But if that was the focal point and they didn't get to see the real us, then that's just a shame. Yeah, and it really sucks too, like, because I would not back someone so much if I wasn't like, if they weren't deserving of it. You know what I mean? Like Johnny really is such a stand up guy. Like he is perfect. And it's just like for that to like have people question his character, like really, really sucked. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, he's this amazing guy and I don't want him to be viewed as Casa more. Like we are not Casa more. We are so much more than that. So and much more. I would not be so ride or die for someone if they weren't deserving of it. Like he's amazing. So Sally, your friendship with Justine was one of my favorite connections to watch, Team Celine. <laughs> <laughs> Team Celine. <laughs> <laughs> what did it mean to you to have this support system with each other throughout your time on Love Island? She is my soul sister. Like 
Love Island would not have been what it was if I did not have her. Like, yes, I love you, boy, but like, just see, like, <laughs> literally adore that girl so much. And if if people could have voted for Celine to win, we would have won the whole thing. Like, I'm just, <laughs> let me be real. Justine said the same thing. <laughs> I, mean, I don't, I don't see I'm sorry, it. no one stood a chance at that I'm point. Sorry, I don't, I don't see it. I feel like me and Kayla have a strong Hell fight. no. If Celine was you. an option, we would have taken the whole thing. No uh, question. <laughs> But honestly, though, like, it would have been what it was without her. She saved me. She was my saving grace, like, throughout the entire time. Like, just getting to laugh with her, cry with her, all of the advice that she's given me, like, she's my homegirl. And I just can't wait to force her to move in with me outside of this. Every time Justine's not around, her mood changes. And <laughs> it, like, it makes me feel like shop liver or something, because I'm like, I'm not good enough for, like, the next hour or two while she's gone. Like, come on now. I'm not myself when she's not around. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Is there anything that you would change about your experience on Love Island? Not at all. Like, even though we didn't have it the easiest, like, I would not change a single thing. I feel like everything happened the way that it needed to, and it only brought us stronger and closer together. And it was just honestly, like, the most amazing love story I have ever had. Like, one really important conversation that we had was he was telling me that he was gonna show me that, like, fairy tale love stories exist and I was like yeah yeah whatever but like he did he gave that to me you know what I mean like I would not change a single thing it was the most amazing experience of my entire life the big focal point of our relationship being Casa more, although it did help us grow although we are stronger for it today I would go back and I would not even show that girl the time of day <laughs> because the dress and you know the sleep that I lost over all of that drama oh, like surrounding Casa more I w it was not worth it you know to have to go through all that to put her through all that you know those couple kisses and cuddle all that just not worth it at all you know we, we we gained a lot from it but I would save myself the time and I would save her the heartache you know and go back and just not do that well said are you both planning on watching the show back do you think you'll watch it back is it take a while like i feel like i'm just gonna cringe so hard at myself but i think eventually i'll get there i'll want to hit like the highlights like our date like watching us see the handshake the nail painting like all the really really good moments i think i'm gonna want to watch right away but everything else i'm like Ooh, i don't know if i can watch that yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm kind of same way like i want to watch the big moments i want to watch the challenges i want to watch the dates but you know i know that at one point I started being portrayed as negative, but every single day in the villa, I was a positive guy. You know, I was always trying to joke. I was always, you know, trying to be funny or whatever it is. And to think that, you know, I might not be portrayed that way because of all this negative energy surrounding Casa more, that kind of that's kind of sucky for me. So I don't know if I want to watch it all the way through immediately, but I'll, of course, have to watch the show. The people who matter know that you're the exactly the people. Matter. The people that are close to me, the people that were actually there, they know the truth. And, yeah. That's all that really matters, you know, it just kind of sucks there's that negative connotation behind us because there's nothing negative here.